What's up, my beautiful meat vessels? It is I, your steward of Gundor, your protector of the realm, your genius billionaire playboy basic YouTuber philanthropist, Supercliff. And if you like what you see here, then hit that like and subscribe button, for it truly helps out the cause and the dream of that is this channel. Superman, Man of Tomorrow, issue number 10, is written by Dave Weigels and Michael Morsi, and drawn by Riley Rosmo and Thony Sillis. And this issue starts off with Superman inside the Hall of Justice. It's here where we see that Big Blue is pissed off, even with both Wonder Woman and Martian Manhunter trying their darnest to cool down the Man of Steel. Superman apparently has had enough as he storms off to deal with the Earth's newly arrived threat. One would suggest an annoyance, and it's revealed that Superman means to combat with the likes of Space Badmouth Bounty Hunter Lobo, who appears to have an innocent scared alien cornered. But Lobo, knowing on how terrible the situation appears, pleads with Superman, warning our hero that the little guy that he has trapped is in truth extremely dangerous. But Superman doesn't listen to Lobo as he gives our space bounty hunter the beatdown. Lobo again pleads with Superman that the little alien will eat his soul. But again, Superman dismisses Lobo's warning. Now, unfortunately, Superman done goofed because in reality, this guy's a straight up a-hole. For this thing's an empathy vampire. The more empathy this dude consumes, the more powerful it becomes. And yeah, Superman has copious amounts of empathy. So this vampire is pretty much jacked with power. Lobo informs Superman that the vampire has been traveling all throughout the galaxy, giving people sad stories about how it's the last of its kind, thereby causing people to provide it with empathy. This forces both Superman and Lobo to team up. Lobo tells Superman that the only way to defeat this vampire is to basically insult it. Now this would typically be impossible for the Man of Steel, but surprisingly, Superman is able to do the deed. For you see, Superman is in truth the last survivor of his race. Supergirl, mm, nope, get out of here. <laughs> um, but anyways, the point being is that Superman shares no empathy towards a creature who is cowardly enough to lie about being the last of its kind. And this folks is what saves the day. That being truth. Once the vampire is in custody, both Lobo and Superman hug it out. Unfortunately, Superman is immediately reminded as to why he doesn't hold Lobo to the highest of standards. Because once Lobo departs on his space motorcycle, it spews smoke into the hero's face. Silly Lobo. Part 2 sees Superman chained up in what appears to be a dungeon of sorts. A pair of guards wake up our hero and take him to the main event. Superman is then brought forth into a giant space gladiatorial arena, aka Warworld, the domain of Superman baddie, Mongol. And boom, warrior fighter Creedon jumps into the arena to destroy Superman. As the fight ensues, Superman realizes that Mongol didn't merely bring him to Warworld just to fight as it's more than likely Mongol did so in order to distract Superman. Once Superman knocks Creedon off to the side, our hero then flies off to confront Mongol. Superman notices a giant weapon, which is aiming towards Earth. Mongol then reveals his plan, telling Superman that he means to reduce Earth to ashes so that its people can have a new god and a new people's champion to worship. That being, of course, Mongol. Creedon then enters the fray by taking on Mongol, for Creedon don't give a damn. Dude will take on any challenger. It's here where Superman provides the villainous Mongol with a lesson, for Superman doesn't dominate Earth, nor does he force people to worship him as a mighty god. Superman simply protects people by keeping them safe, and it's with that where we see Superman being worshipped by the people for destroying Mongol's super weapon. Superman Man of Steel issue number 10 was yet again another awesome duology issue. I enjoyed this issue highly because it doesn't rely on Superman punching his way to solve problems. Instead, it relies on Superman's character, his substantial amount of empathy, or that of Superman being simply a good guy. It's things like that, especially in today's current world climate, that truly resonate with me, as well as Superman fans in general. Not to mention you're getting great stories for as little as a dollar. That's an awesome deal that you simply cannot beat. Superman Man of Tomorrow, issue number 10, gets a 9.5 out of 10. Giggity goo.